as we are just moments away from the start of the ice sledge hockey competition and what a beautiful day it is on the black sea as we are now inside the shiba and the czech republic will be taking on norway in this group a match it's the first match in the preliminary round in day one of the paralympic winter games and these two sides norway who have medaled in every single competition at the Paralympic Games for the ice sledge hockey competition are in this group A, Canada as well, and Sweden taking on each other in the other match in this first day. And there you see it, the Czechs out onto the ice first. And the Czechs, this is only their second Paralympic Games after making their debut in Vancouver. And Norway, well, they've been here before many a time. This is their sixth appearance at the Paralympic Games after it was born into the competition in 1994 in their host nation. It was in Norway. Lillehammer was a start. As you see the Czechs, our officials today, Jonathan Morrison will be the referee on the lines as Louis Bielin and Brian Freyrick from the United States. They will be the men in charge. Standby referee as well. And there are the Norwegian fans in abundance. In the red, blue, and white. And they will be in white. The Norwegians. This is the Czech lineup starting in goal. Vepenka. will get the start and there are the Norwegians breaking and there are the Czechs the Czechs are in red and the Norwegians in white so if you're just new to the Paralympic Games or to the sport of ice sledge hockey three 15 minute stop time periods there is Papenka in goal Berger on defense is a Frenick is the captain and he is the forward the veteran 32 year old is now the captain. He's assigned that responsibility in 2013 at the World Championships in Korea. The Czechs qualify for this tournament. As this is the coach, Morten Haglund, for Norway. And he has been here well, since the beginning. Not only is he the head coach, He's also an ice hockey referee as well in Norway's first division. He's also coached in a Norwegian women's national ice hockey team. But he has guided this Norwegian sledge hockey program since the beginning in 94. They've won five medals. Can they win a sixth? As Yuri Frisa, the head coach for the Czech Republic, is in charge. And he had just appointed in 2013. And now the full-time head coach of the Czech side. And they go through the instructions from the referee. And there is, that is Vapenka in goal, number six. Just getting himself limbered up and ready to go. 40 years old is Vapenka. So 40 years young, you'd say, maybe in a sport of ice sledge hockey. There it is. Christian Buen, number two, is in goal for Norway. He's 10 years. Papenka is junior. He's only 30. He will be in charge in the pipes. As both these nations with red, white, and blue. But in the white is Norway from right to left. In the red from left to right is the Czech Republic. And we are underway at the Shiba Arena. It is Russian for puck. And if you had a look at the outside of the facility, it looks like one, but the play is in the neutral zone here now. It is picked up by the Czechs. Just trying to advance it forward. And they are just searching for possession in the neutral zone. And it will get into the Czech defensive zone. They're able to break that play up. And advancing forward, just missing all the way. And that's a good 
skating play from Michael Greer. Greer trying to get on the end of that one. It's a good effort coming out of the zone from the Czechs. As we're inside the first minutes, and there you see the modified benches. And that is Griza looking on. Just nicely getting settled, Griza. And he's now a veteran, 38 years old. In this sport, maybe just coming into his prime. The coach. Good battle for possession in the neutral zone. It's picked up by the Norwegians. They'll come across and a shot off the back of the defender. Here a chance though, right down the middle. There's a good whipping shot in. And that was just a broken play. And the Norwegians onto it quickly. Again, the Czechs just having to work themselves around. They play basically with two lines. And coming from behind, need to be careful. That's a good offload there to get it to safety. But it's not quite out of the zone yet. It is just now. Norway though, first on it. And they'll play it in the zone. A good battle again. This is going back at Thomas Kivak. And Gear, who almost had that breakaway pass, tries to play it, and that's a good effort there. As a delayed offside being indicated as line changes from both teams. And back behind their own goal once again. And a good play out trying to now advance forward the checks in the offensive zone and that'll be just left by Bune. and now the Norwegians have to play a little bit of defense there you see Peterson number three and the long time established now regarded by some still as the best in the world is Rolf Inar Peterson and he is in his sixth Paralympic Games as you're looking at Bune in the Norwegian goal. Good work by the Czechs to start. A little scrambly in their own zone. And breathing hard there. That is Gear. And he tried to get on to that play, then back in his own defensive zone as well, waiting for support and just trying to get their line sorted out. This is Bogle. Bogle wins it clean. And a battle there. Well done and picked up in behind the Norwegian goal. That's Palat. Palat still working. And just parried around the boards, but not out. And that's a great shot across in front. And looking for a one-time redirection here again. Though the checks, there's a great play. Bune is down again. And has to collect that puck just to settle down play. As the checks just in his first sequence in the offensive zone are making a statement themselves. It's a great shot in as Buen has to get down and control that one. And there you see Brisa coming in and congratulating his line there. Face off one again by the Czechs, it's in. And right now, they are on the ascendancy in red. The Czech Republic turning it over, a little offload, and again putting pressure on. But here's a passing play out into the neutral zone. He's taken out and no penalty on the play. Ice sledge hockey very much like ice hockey. Obviously penalties, minor penalties, major and, and all the rest. But the interpretation's slightly different. Obviously allowing for the sledge and well, just some of the dangers it can create. And you see the players with the blade that they travel on. The puck must be able to be playable underneath their sledge as well so that they can use it, handling it from left to right. Good work, though, in behind the goal. Bune has to get to that one again as it's scrambly in the Norwegian zone to start. And Gear again is right there putting pressure. And the sport of ice sledge hockey is for athletes with an impairment in their lower body. There you see the sledge up close. Just the one blade, two blades, uh, their preference of customized sledge depending on, well, the athletes and their attributes. Good work though, turned over. 
again, though, right now it just hasn't really found its shape yet, and to be expected in day one, but they haven't got much time to find their feet. It's the top two teams. That'll go for icing. Top two teams in this group stage will automatically qualify and go into the semifinal. Javox had a good start as well for the Czechs. Eight teams in the Paralympic Winter Games. You're looking at the first two to play at the Shaiba Arena. It'll be the host for all of the matches. Face off inside the Norwegian end zone. And it is won cleanly by Norway. Back is Peterson. Nice little reverse there from Peterson as he hits the frantic on him. Again, though, Norway having to bring back four defenders. Hagen, a five time Paralympic medalist as well, sees that one out to safety. And again, having to go back to collect it. That will be. Tori Stieg Svee and lofted Svee, 50 years old, the oldest man in the ice sledge hockey competition. Number eight going back again to try and get to this puck. He's beaten though. Safranek is there first. Safranek will come around in front, but he is T-boned off the puck by Peterson. And look at this. Oh, and there's a little bit of a drive-by. As continuing to advance forward, but now it is again Mikael Gier who makes a good play. Has a Norwegian player on him, but again, a break for Safranek, the captain. Safranek is hit off the play by Peterson, but still going are the Czechs. And being squeezed out, but still in possession behind. That'll bring Peterson in, and great stick work there to control by Magnus Vogel. Vogel just able to cut that one out. Once more, dispossessed our Norway at the Czech line. And once again, this play just kind of getting broken up, isn't it? And not a team able to find much space. This is a chance, but you're going to have to take the puck with you. It's been turned over the other way. Good job by Kavok. Kavok will come back and put pressure immediately. Just kept in, no it's not. It's offside. As a good continuous passage of play there. That was the hit from Peterson on Sopranic. And knocking him right off the play. And Morten Haglund, the coach of Norway, suggesting the pressure not on Norway to go and claim a sixth Paralympic medal. It's more on the United States. Canada and the emerging Russia, the hosts, who have had a transformation in the sport since winning the bid to host the Paralympic Games in 2007. And the Czechs now, who are only in their second Paralympic Games, they fancy themselves to be potential medalists in Sochi. Haglund looking comfortable but for any coach while you're just waiting for that opening goal to be scored you're just a little bit anxious and wanting to see the game settle down and you're a veteran team but there's a half a new team 50% of a changeover in this Norwegian roster since Vancouver so he equally just interested to see how his squad will settle down into this, well, the most prestigious tournament in the world for this sport. Back is Peterson. Around. That is able to get to the line, but not out. Kavok with a shot in. Oh, and it's around it again. Rotik is there, and Kavok has had a great opening period. He has been strong, keeping it simple. And he's like a Viking back there. Has Kavok been? A warrior of strength for the Czech side. But that is Bune. He has done his job too, hasn't he? And there he is. 47-year-old Thomas Kavok. It's won again by the Czechs. Quickly, the Norwegians are there to take it away. 
And this is Varnas up to the middle, passing, but back and safely on the stick of Berger. Just lofted out, forehand, backhand, a little off lay. This is good puck movement, but a delayed offside against the Czech Republic. They'll have to retreat and allow the Norwegians to regroup. Losing his stick on the play. That was the Czech Republic forward. Stick handling, and there you see, obviously the blade to control the puck, and then at the other end is the picks in order to propel the players along the course of the ice. Here's a play in front for Norway! What a save there! And loose play. Leads to a great opening opportunity. Still moving now. Peterson logging the minutes and suggesting as though he was happy to defer to his younger teammates, Peterson, and allow them to shoulder the load. Not the case so far, as it is Hagland who elects to go to his veteran out there. It's an icing play by Norway, but watch this save here, as that has kept Norway off the board, and both goaltenders, Bune as well, making his presence felt in the Norwegian goal. A face-off to his right. No penalties as of yet. What a sprawling style. There you see 8.02 remaining in the first period. 15-minute periods in ice ledge hockey. This is Norway. They've played it, and it's automatic icing, as is the, well, the IIHF, the International Ice Hockey Federation's ruling. But this sport, obviously sanctioned by the International Paralympic Committee, who works in conjunction with the IIHF to create the rules by which this tournament is played. Good crowd on hand at the Shiba Arena. 7,000 seat capacity facility and it's a temporary one that could be used and relocated to another Russian city after the Paralympic Games. This is loose play that has led to Norway pursuing it into the far offensive corner. Just losing his stick for a moment. That was Varnas. Again, Kavok is back and I'm not certain Kavok has left the ice in this opening period. And it's not uncommon in ice sledge hockey for a player to play. Peterson for Norway has been known to play every minute of every game in all of the crucial fixtures, but that's going to be Kabak playing it all the way down for icing. But you can only do that for so long as particularly Father Time marches down on all of us. And Peterson no different. And Two shots in on Bune. Had to make a couple plays just to control the puck and get a face off as his team is trying to get themselves settled into this one. But I mentioned about Peterson, 44 years of age. So possibly his most youthful Paralympic days behind him. Well, that is for certain, or maybe his possibly the best part of his playing career. Who knows? As he is 50, still playing. Greater longevity for these athletes to compete. This is the Czechs working hard. They can't get it out. It's been turned over and right upended. They'll come back again, though, in numbers. Line change, need to be careful. Making that line change is the last man. Hadn't quite made the play through the neutral zone yet, but it is Norway who are able to once more put the checks back in their own defensive third of the ice. And that's where the majority of the territory has been in this opening period. Hasn't been long sustained periods of possession by either side, but Majority of the territory has been here in the check zone, but they've done well again to navigate out, and that's a good little play. This is Safranek, the captain, out into open water, 
as he tries to advance it himself. And there it is across. Here's a chance backside. And can't get to it. That's Havel. So this line of gear, Safranic and Havel, again, being a nuisance for the Norwegians. Here they come, though, the other way. Great defensive play, but where's the puck? It's out in front. And it's found by Vapenka. And that's the one thing about these sledges. You can almost use them as a little bit of deception, can't you? As not only handling the puck from right to left and keeping it away from the opponent, uh, just keeping it away from their eye line. And the difficulty in the sport of ice sledge hockey is coming to a definite stop. And it's so hard to get propelled again that they elect not to. Most of the movement to return to sender is taking a curve and turning back as quick and as sharp as they can. But this was the play. And coming across, that's Safranic. The opportunity, though, developing nicely for Odin Bakke. And there he is just kind of sliding on the edge of his sledge and not quite on the blade. And that's Bogle. And that's a hit hard. On Kavak. No score in this opening period. Welcome to the Paralympic Winter Games. I'm Brent Pope, and this is day one coverage. Match one in Group A. Skating well. Motichka. He's taken out hard on the boards. And body contact obviously allowing. And we get a little bit of a break in play. Can help explain a little bit of the differences between this and ice hockey. This obviously being ice sledge hockey. Scrambling effort. And three Norwegians there, but they can't come up with it. And it'll make its way back into the defensive zone. Norstoga. Oh, and it's turned over. And again, he'll have to go tidy up some of his own work there, but he can't. He's taken off the puck. Oh, there's the play out front. And Kavok is the guy to shoot the puck once more. And Kavok is a danger man back there. Maybe not the biggest shot on that play, but he gets it in on net and Bune once more. Has to be equal to it. And elevating it in, and that very difficult drop at the end for Bune. Just as difficult to handle as the increased speed might have been on the shot. And Kavak knows that he's having himself a good game against the fancy Norwegians in this one. But the Czechs, well, they have their own part to play in Sochi 2014. They think they can get themselves a medal after only their second Paralympic Games. They finished fifth in Vancouver, remember. And fourth in the World Champions last year in Korea. In Norway as well, fourth in 2012. And also in the Czech Republic in 2009. So they are right on the cusp of being bronze medalists. But these matches are so important as to which team is going to go through. And Canada and Sweden also in this group. So this match crucial. There's a good effort. But that will be comfortably taken by Vapenka. As he'll just turn it over and flip it like a pancake and leave it there for the referee to collect. Bogle. He was the man with the big hit in on Kavak. And here you see the curved blade. And he tries to elevate it up and over Vapenka. And that sort of dropping angle of the shot is just as difficult to handle as speed would be. And particularly as the puck is sort of butterflying its way into goal. Papenka with the two saves so far. And lofted out and over the top. The old Hail Mary. And June gets his stick down in behind his glove. And it's being marshaled all the way down by Motichka. And Bree's a very active, isn't he? in chatting with his team. He talks about finding different ways to motivate his squad after they have 
Well, they all have day jobs equally as well as they compete as athletes. So combining the two sometimes isn't always lending itself to having the same amounts of energy or focus or exclusive concentration on the task at hand. And he continually is talking with his team, wanting to make sure that they are alert, focused, and paying attention to detail. As the little things will be the difference in this match and undoubtedly the tournament as that'll go for icing and if they've finished as i mentioned three times in fourth place at the world championships the checks they'll be thinking it's maybe time to just take that next step there is hagen five-time paralympic medalist as well and this was the play going back in on goal and just to give you an idea of the Norwegians, well, they won gold in Nagano and silver in Turin. Silver again in Salt Lake City and Lillehammer in 94. And then a bronze medal beating Canada in 2010 in Vancouver. Kabak again back. He is an anchor back there for Czech Republic. And coming up to two and a half minutes remaining in this first period. As you see, we're still scoreless. This is Peterson very much. You know, they refer to him as the best playmaker in the world, then arguably still the best player in the world. And the Norwegians along with the Swedes involved in creating the game of ice sledge hockey. This is a play, though, that's needing to be tidied up by the Czechs. Long effort. And that's one of the best passes we've seen in this opening period. A good 40, 50 foot pass all the way up out of their own defensive zone. Zafranic is knocked off this play. Lofted effort out of the zone by Hagen. Erskel Hagen. Oh, and that's off the face shield into the corner. And a loose opportunity now. Palat to turn. And he's come out of a tight space in there. Backside, here's a play developing. Oh, and that's the best shot of the period. That's Mike Calgier. And he is certainly the most promising offensive threat in this opening frame for the Czech Republic. That's a little high and wide. And Gear, whoa, that was sensational stuff. It's kept inside the zone. And that is real strength and conviction, isn't it, by Peterson. Just to step out from behind his own goal and know he's going to get contact. But confident enough to take it and make the play. This is Yuri Berger. Berger, an offload to Gear, who comes back low in his own defensive zone. And there he was just a moment ago in on the Norwegian goal. Inside the last minute now. And... Good interplay. There's a harrowing shot in, up and over the net. And you wonder if that's a half dump in, a half shot. As Gear again, look at the Clifton, look at the move. Whoa! And a glove save by Bune as Berger and Gear are menacing. And that ambidextrous approach, isn't it? The right and left hand, whichever is your preferred side. And just the backhand offload here for Berger, and Berger rips one. And Zafranek right in on goal two. And Berger almost bites the back of the net. But just like it is in football, where you can play it with your left and right foot, the same in ice sledge hockey. And Developing strength in both shooting sides, obviously an advantage. Once more, Norway look a little uncertain, and this is a developing story. That the Czech Republic will take one last attempt in on Bune, and they are good for their money after the first 15 minutes. They are for real. And you'd have to say the more promising goal-scoring opportunities were in on that man, Bune. Christian Bune in the Norwegian goal. 
And that is the score after one period of play. Five shots on goal for the Czech Republic. Only two for Norway. No penalties as of yet. And Norway with the percentage getting the 10 face-off wins as opposed to the seven. And we'll have ourselves a 15-minute break in between periods. And very impressive work indeed. And we'll look back a little bit to this first period of play. Interesting just to look at the minute on the ice here. Eight minutes and 48 seconds being played by 74, Mikael Gier. And his line mate as well out there, Yuri Berger, 8.33. So their shifts just over a minute long, carrying themselves in that first period. We look at Norway, and let's just see how long Peterson been on the ice, eight minutes and 55 of the available 15 minutes in that first period. And 8.07 for Eskil Hagen, both defensemen. So a very defensive structure indeed by the Norwegians in the first 15 minutes. They realize that they need to play a little bit more of a coiled approach. And that is part of their tactic and strategy employed by Morton Haglin. So an interesting 15 minutes. We will break, and we'll see the opportunity here to see the Zambonis come out on the ice of the Shaiba Arena, and we will join you just ahead of the second period. Don't go anywhere. Hope you're enjoying coverage of the Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi.
there you see the scenes from the first period. The five shots on goal for the Czech Republic, the two only for the Norwegians, but if you just had a look at those highlights as they were just playing through, possibly one of the best opportunities was for the Norwegians, but it went wide in that first frame. I'm Brent Pope, and welcome to the coverage of the Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi. This is the ice sled hockey competition. This is Group A and Day 1 and Match 1 at the Shaiba Arena in Shaiba. If you're not familiar already, is Russian for puck. It's also Shaibu, what the fans will shout here in sort of encouragement of their teams to go score, score a goal. Sort of that terminology is what really it means. Only the couple of saves that had to be made by Vapenka, but he had that one that went wide that I was referring to. As dangerous as anything we saw in that period. Probably the best chance, though, went to Gear, Mikhail Gear, from the Czech Republic as he just came slashing down the left hand side and made that last minute play in on that man there, Buen. And it went wide. But they were good in the first period. Where the Czechs and Safranic. He played his role, the now captain of this side. And leading his team from the front indeed. Fans enjoying themselves, which is what it's all about. What a fantastic opening ceremony last night next door at the Fisht Stadium inside the Olympic Park, right on the edge of the Black Sea in Sochi. These fans will enjoy themselves, no doubt. Well, for the entire of the Paralympic Games and the remaining portion of this match. Three 15-minute periods. If we're level after 15, we'll go to an extra five minutes. We're ready to go with a second period. And underway, Czech Republic in the red from right to left and Norway in the white. Played in by the Czechs in behind the goal line. That won't be icing, just, oh, and that's a real crashing effort coming in by Safranic. Safranic with great energy so far in this game. That play has worked out well. And then tried to be directed out a little bit stronger, but it actually, that little bit of a broken effort just got past the Norwegian defender and has forced them to clear it all the way down the ice. And automatic icing is the call. Under double IHF ruling and Certainly under the IPC ruling as well. Vapenka for a little stroll out of goal. Just as he allows his team to get reset for an offensive zone faceoff now. There you see the Norwegians lined up. And looking at the shift lengths in this first period is in around a minute is sort of the guideline. And you wouldn't have found that, no doubt, in the Olympic Games in the, in the men's or the women's ice hockey competition. They're in around 35 to 45 seconds maximum. So a lengthier stay per shift during the uh, Paralympic ice sledge hockey so far. Shot there. It's turned over. And there's some good moving space now. A one-on-one. -on -one. And the block waits. Peterson shot. What a save that is. As Peterson was dead blank in front and a backhand Goes up and over goal, but Peterson. Now that's the best opportunity to score. And a save there by Bapenka to keep it scoreless. Peterson now back, lowering the boom physically for Norway on the blue line. And they're able just to get that puck out to safety. It's not quite strong enough to go for icing. It's waved off. Well, my oh my, there is the veteran. The world class of Peterson, Rolf Dinar Peterson, who has been doing it for a generation in ice sledge hockey. Can't quite get it done there. Kavak comes in. Has he gone and committed too early? He's allowed some room. Norway on the break, but they can't link up. And Peterson frustrated that that play couldn't be linked. And Sorheim was trying to find him, and that was a little bit of a favor for the Czechs as they were a little disorganized defensively. Now the other way, this is opened up completely in the second frame. Gear, nice move, in and out. In behind the goal, he doesn't realize it, it's on this near side. And that was Bune 
who was thinking that gear was going to go all the way around. And by the short side, another chance. And it's turned over. Here come the Norwegians. And now that both teams have settled into this game, it's obvious that the instructions from Haglund and from Brisa, the two respective coaches, is to say go out and push. The second period change is difficult for the Norwegian. Here comes Gear. Gear has still got it. Turned over. Second effort. What a shot and save there. And one more time, an offload to the backside, and they can't hold on to it. And the save by Bune is a beauty. Norstoga taken down. The bounce pass and behind the goal works out well. And again, the Norwegians just electing to buy some time and space. They had a line change there, and they forced some pricing. They're not going to be able to change now, but on that break, they were changing three, four players, and that allowed the Czech Republic to get this play here that leads up, and that was a shot from Berger, and Berger has got a whipping left-hand shot there. Peterson, though, that was the best chance of the game, and Bapenka just drills it back with a glove and keeps it safely out of the Czech goal. Peterson won't believe it, and the look says it all. And it might have been a stronger angle for Peterson to have gone to the right hand to shoot on that one. The EDG said the done. Oh, it's across the line, but outside the goal. And one more time, Bune has seen enough. And he'll freeze that. And if the Norwegians score first, the Czechs will be gutted as they have been the better team offensively. And that went off Norstoga. Bune was ready to save it, but it bounces away from him. And watch this here, up and rolling across the line, but right of the post. And Bune is a cool customer indeed. As he takes it in stride, keeping a clean sheet are both these goaltenders. and officially recognized as goalkeepers. And maybe I'm just showing my age here as a term that I would have understood to be the case, but it's wide again. And the goalkeeper not needing to make a save in that one, but certainly as good a chance to get a goal for the Czechs as they've had. They'll reload again. It's not going to go for icing. Back, though is Magnus Vogel. Vogel gets bopped. And it is well played to keep in. Safranik is there. He just edges it onto a teammate. That's lofted to the middle. Kavok was trying to link up with it. And now this will be to Havel. Havel into the body. Kavok and great little offload. Norway one more time, just electing to play a little bit of defense out in the neutral zone. Just get that puck away from pressure. And the referee indicating no offside. And that's a little scrambly, loose play. Well picked up by Gear. Gear just waiting to see what's going to work best. And it wasn't really a channel to come through that neutral zone congestion. Havel in. Havel met at the pass, though. Taken off the play. The Norwegian defenders need to be careful here. As the Czechs are sniffing around. Waiting for just that one chance. That's picked up well. Skating down the left-hand wing. Working and looking for a chance. A shot there. Into the corner. And that was Hamra. Hamra, Martin Hamra. For 20 for Norway. Turned over. They'll skate, and they'll take the available room, but offside at the line as Berger is a man exactly that the Czechs will want in a position to shoot, because boy, Kenny, that left-hand whipping shot has tested Bune a few times already. Well, much different second period in complexion 
to the first. As you see the camera overview of the check bench and a quick squeegee wipe to make sure the players can see clearly through. And you saw some of the expressions of frustration from Hagland, even in that first period as he was dealing with some of his players. And if I'm any sort of reader of facial expressions, that's a man that's feeling a little bit anxious. Now, nothing wrong with direct instruction, but just a suggestion there that these couple of these shots coming in and the way the checks are playing, that Hagland is feeling a little hot under the collar. And a few instructions being directed along there. And that is Frank Downstrom. And Espen Hedger on the assistant coaches for Norway. It is won by Norway. This is strong, progressive movement on that left wing. In. And Opanka needs to really keep a hold of that one. His defense come back and take it away, but so difficult to move for these goalkeepers as they're basically side on, aren't they? And they kind of get the opportunity to move back and forth. Just kind of left to right, but don't have the same ability to kind of pounce forward, do they? If that puck is in front of them. And this is loose. Kavok touched on well into space. This is developing nicely for the Czechs. Palat will get in there. Palat tries to knock his man off the puck. He does. That's kind of a play to nowhere as that allows times for the check to just get in there, and the checks will do that. Kleckag, though, the captain, just makes sure and good leadership there just to be calm under pressure, but once again, it's led to icing, and another offensive zone face-off for the Czech Republic, and that can only go on for so long before advantage is created, and the face-offs, We'll have a look at so far. Well, the advantage going to Norway on the face-off so far. They're a total of 59%. 56 now as a result of that face-off. There's a great shot. Gira in. And every shot's a good shot. Ask the question of the goalie. Are you ready to stop this one? And it doesn't have to be a perfect one. It just needs to find a little piece of empty area. And if it's on net, well, at least a rebound is available as well. Out into the neutral ice. Skating well. Looking for room. What a defensive play by Berger to take that away. And again, that's Martin Hamra, number 20. Look at this skating room in on a break. Havel back to Sopranic. And Norwegian defenders everywhere. Sopranic is going to try to cut out. Open on the near side. And Sopranic is in a battle there with Bjorn. And Bjorn has seen enough of him. Broken up, though, out into the neutral zone. And it's locked up. Hamra comes in to try and dislodge it. Need to be careful not to get a cross-checking penalty. We haven't seen any penalties yet in this game. And the referee just indicating that it's a hand pass. And the whistle will be blown. And we are marching down in the second period. 6.42 remaining. And there have been great chances at both ends. The predominant opportunities, though, coming on the Norwegian goal. And there you see the discussion of the Czech coach. And that's one thing that was noticeable is that the defenders have been so aggressive for the Czech Republic team trying to keep the puck in the offensive zone. They've been taking some risks, really. And that is a good play by Norway. Tactically, to bounce it in off the board and to have it ricochet out in front of goal. This is scrappy. Here's a chance. A loose play from nothing. Oh, my. That was a tremendous opportunity from nothing. And that'll show you just how 
good this Norwegian team is. Solberg, who just picks up on what looked like a pretty casual play and a backhand. And Vapenka makes it look easy. But the backhand play, that is a great shot, isn't it? Solberg gets that up. And the curvature of the blade obviously working against the direction of the shot. But he gets it up, and Vapenka makes another key save. And that's such a key and such an important part, is the goaltenders making the saves they have to. Even if they're not getting much action, they must be sharp. And particularly, there have been two good opportunities, real good ones, for Norway to score, and Vapenka has been there. That'll go out into an area. The referee's just waiting to assess it, and it'll be icing. And that must have been about the fifth icing we have seen. But the Czech Republic in this second period, operating at 37.5% on their face-off percentage. And they need to improve on that. Or the Norwegians can continue to slow this game down and play the puck down the length of the ice because they're confident they're going to win possession off of their defensive zone face-off. View looking in again. Almost seems expressionless, doesn't he? And he is. Unfortunately, here is a race, and it's going to be a breakaway all the way in. This is going to be Salberg. Salberg. Oh, and it goes off, and they're going to count it. And it's a ricochet goal. And Salberg with the first shot coming in. And the credit for the goal is going to go to Backe. Out in Backe gets the rebound. And Norway, against the grain, have scored first. Watch this here from Salberg, and can you believe it? Mapanka can't do anything about it. Salberg goes high, it's up the, off the face shield, and Backe is just in position A, and he gets the plaudits and the reward of driving to the net. And that's what it means to Norway. Some discussion in and around this goal here now. But it's going to be discussed here with the official. And it goes off of the face shield of Bapenka and bounces back. And more and more, that play is discretionary in the sport of ice hockey. And Ice sledge hockey governed under the same basic rules. Thumbs up being given to the referee, Jonathan Morrison, that it is a valid goal. And there you're looking at the goal score and it's been awarded. Well, watch this again. Stahlberg and Backe are off to the race and off the face, and it's in inverted. And I don't think that Backe gets a stick on it, but it goes off his sledge. But he will get credit, and he's going to the net with the purpose of supporting the play. And it's just a bang, bang ricochet right off his sledge and in. And Norway, but well, that'll take the wind right out of the Czech Republic sails. They are up one nothing, and not much Papanka can do about that. He makes a tremendous save on the first effort. So, marching down on five minutes remaining in the second period. There you see the scoreline. That's an even strength goal. We have not had a penalty in this game yet. Not been that kind of game. That might have been potentially looked at something as Safranka. Upends his man in the neutral zone. And the better opportunities, I must say, have gone to the Czech Republic. And, but nothing as clear cut as that. A two on O. Oh. And that was discussed here as a three on one. Out into open play. Bogle offloads it again. Back gay. And he can't score it this time. As that's an even better chance here. Peterson 
It is in deep. Here come the Czechs. They are skating. They had room. A late change, though. And the defensive play is outstanding from Norstoga. Norstoga will just see that safely in the corner. And Norway able just to complete the line change. Oh, what's this here now? And just coming past it. The box. And Norstoga has come right out here and settled things down, hasn't he? As he was the last man standing to come out to make that line change. As there was a partial break. Peterson stops on a dime, eh? That is tremendous control. So important. The veteran leadership. And you saw him. Well, he's been up in the play offensively trying to create attack. He's been everywhere defensively. And Peterson coming up to 13 minutes played already in this game. And we are just marching towards 30 minutes played. That's a great shot there. 27 minutes is exactly where we're at at the moment. Shot in. And Bune will take that comfortably. He has the glove save. And Safranek continues to apply pressure. And it's a tough one for Yuri Breeza because this first goal undoubtedly has a huge part to play. Obviously, it changed the complexion of this game. That first goal is so key in any sport, any team sport. And it just really dictates terms and does have an impact as Motivka plays it in. It has an impact on your team and their momentum, keeping them confident, keeping them focused and encouraged, particularly when the shot for the Czech Republic. They've had 12 so far. My apologies, they've had nine so far. It's the face-off we're looking at for the Czechs. There's been 12 in the second period so far. And they're doing a little bit better at 50% now. But still overall, not leading in that category. 44% overall. It's the Norwegians with 55 and a bit percent. So still controlling that. It's that one goal that's the difference now, isn't it? Svee, the 50-year-old veteran in his sixth Paralympic Games. Yoon, ever focused. Interesting alignment, electing to be on that far side of goal. This is open, shot in, scramble! And again, Norway come back. And do not allow the Czechs a second opportunity. That long effort coming in is a shot of choice. That's a great opportunity from the goal line. Why not? The frantic. No hands. No hands. And here they come one more time. Big collision into the corner. Down goes the Czech forward. And that is here again and you would fancy and there's going to be a holding on the arm and this is a holding penalty coming up and it's going to go against Norway off to the box is going to be Hagen well Hagen where you see him making his way assessed for a penalty and that's part of the activity that's going on in front of that Norwegian goal right now being created by the Czech forward. And that's forced Hagen to have to take this call. And Hagen, 13.42 on the ice so far. He's doing his part. But he's a veteran of the squad at 43 years of age. June, now he's a youngster at 30. This is going to be the best chance here for the Czechs into the body. And what a block. 
Nordstoga again has been outstanding in these last couple three shifts. Lofted effort and a scrambling play. You just get a sense that the Czechs, they are close. And that is a play all the way down the length of the ice. They'll have to go back and behind their own goal and collect. It's the Frannick who is controlling a little offload. And Norway happy just to put it in behind goal and chase it down. They've come a long ways though. And a break and a stop and turn. Wide side now. Need to get themselves a little bit of shape here. As Norway seem uncompromising on this kill. And it's opened up a little bit more of an opportunity just to assert their defensive prowess. Inside of this minute now, remaining in the power play. And other than that first sequence, they haven't generated a whole lot of control yet. Norway, great little offload there. They've got to skate into an area they've not been able to do so. And they've broken it up again. This power play attack from the Czech Republic. And this power play at the moment looks as though it's not going to bear much fruit. Inside of a minute in the second period. A long play up, touched forward. Back into the center of the ice. And one more time, as Varnas will see it down to safety. This is the goal scorer. Backe in, taking off the play. Here, trying to get to the puck. Needs to be careful here inside this last minute. This is a turnover. And Peterson's in. And he'll threaten. But it's out into the neutral zone. And Norway just wanting to keep possession of it. They do. And they support each other ever so well. Hagen now out of that penalty box. Plays it up into the defensive zone. And that will be the end of the second period. And unfortunately for Mikhail Vapenka, a play that he could really do nothing about as he makes the sensational first save. But it goes off his mask and out and there is no way that he was going to be able to get the second opportunity. So almost level now in face-off percentage. The shot, though. And it's suggesting there's 13 shots for Czech Republic. Nine now. And that's, that's a fair reflection. 13 total in the game. So eight in that second frame. Seven for Norway, but the most important shot, a two on oh break that allows the chance and opens the door for Norway to get in front. And you don't win a Paralympic medal in every single one of the Paralympic games in which ice sledge hockey has been involved without knowing how to win hockey games. And you'll get maybe one or two chances and you've got to take them. And Norway have taken their opportunity and they've taken it in style. After two periods, you see the score there below. And we'll have another look again at just where the ice time is at with some of these players. Rolf Enar Peterson, 1841, is leading the way for Norway. And he's followed by Norstoga. Norstoga had a great sequence there where he was really just controlling that blue line in the defensive zone for Norway. And followed by Odin Backe, the goal scorer, 14-14 so far in this game he has played. Looking across at the Czechs, 16-39, Jerry Berger. He's got that great left-handed shot, hasn't he, where he's able to just find a way to whip that across goal. And it's 16-09. Eric Frotik is the next leading player for the Czech Republic. That's where we'll leave it for now. Hope you're enjoying the action. I'm Brent Pope. We have a third period that awaits you. 50 more minutes of action and possibly extra time if it's level after the regulation play of 45 minutes. We've got a thriller in store. You're watching the Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi. We'll be back 
after the break.
welcome to the third period of this Group A preliminary round match between the Czech Republic and Norway. This is the ice sledge hockey competition, as you can see. And we're just a couple minutes away before the start of this third period. But the scoreline is the Norwegians won. And they scored that equal strength goal. It was out in back eight, and it was a two on O that he and Stahlberg had. Stahlberg will get the assist on it. And the second assist going to Bogle as well. That's Magnus Bogle. And that's the difference in this hockey game so far. And before the goal came in, I was suggesting that the Czechs would be heavily disappointed. If they were to concede first, and unfortunately for them, they have. And that all-important first goal, and the Czechs had a power play as well in that second period, and couldn't much do anything really constructive on it. They had a little bit of control initially, but for the most part, Norway had them hemmed in their half of the ice. There's Salberg, who had the puck on that 2 on 0 Safranek, the captain coming back to give some support to Vapenka. Not much of Vapenka could have done. He took that one off the face shield as he touches the middle post. And we are moments away from the start of the third period in the Shaiba Arena in Sochi's Olympic Park. Referee Jonathan Morrison waiting for the clock to strike. And we will start again. And we're underway in the third and possibly not final period in this opening match of the Paralympic Winter Games Ice Sledge Hockey Competition. It's in and behind. Goal all the way back. Kept tight to the boards away from the onrushing movement. Norway looking much more assertive offensively now and they can rely on their veteran defensive core Hagen Peterson there's a good contact on the board there that's gear offloaded and skating well near this coming into an offensive area he'll stop and turn trying to get it across the Safranic Berger and Berger has got that Powerful release, hasn't he? And he'll just offload it in behind goal. He's probably gone too far with it. The play is read decently well. Safranek will pick up the loose change here, and he'll move it in. Here comes a whipping shot there. Wow! And snap it high and hard. And, whoa, baby, we're level at one. Oh, wow. You talk about starting a period with purpose. Not only was that forceful, powerful, but that was wicked. And it's Gear who's going to get credit for this one. Watch this. Oh, man. Is that up in the top pocket before you know it? And we're level at one. And the tech team are delighted. My, oh, my. And I've been saying it. Gear has got something in store for us. And he just put it up another gear. In fact, he dropped it right into sixth gear and got it right on the motorway up into the basket. And we're locked there at center ice. Looks like a bully off. But it is in the offensive zone again. And that sort of shot there by Gear. Man, that's going to be on highlight film for a while. It's kept in by the Czech Republic. And they may be looking to use that long-range missile that they have. A number of their players. Berger can shoot from that distance. Safranek has tried as well. Watch this here. Oh, and it's scrambling around now. And the Czechs 
as I mentioned, felt as though they could have maybe scored first in this game. Well, they've scored second, and they want to score the third. These are tense moments here now. Just coming up to two and a half minutes gone in this third period, and that goal changes everything. Now, Palak, they can settle down, the Czech Republic. They can make their play. They've made one into a good area here. It's forced Nurstoga to come back. Nurstoga, though, knocked off that play, but does well to keep his strength and his balance. Here is Safranic, in and behind the goal. And what a turn to get away from trouble there by Klakeg, the captain. And he's turned it over, though. Here, a little bit too aggressive. As he'll play it back, that's the Czechs that have played that all the way back on themselves. Around the boards, it'll go. Trying to keep it in. And just a fall-in man that can't quite get to it. This is good development, though, for Norway. Is in numbers. A deceptive little interchange. And they've done well to protect the puck. And now you're going to start to see some strategy and some tactics in play. Watt Peterson off the post. Peterson right in again. And that's off the body of Bapenka and off the pipe. And that end board is alive and well. You gotta be careful. A whole new arena, this Shaiba Arena in Sachi. And the boards are lively. And these players will know that from training here all week. And they have used that almost there to their advantage. Across now into the neutral zone, trying to develop some shape to their attack. Both teams, though, very careful and considered at how they want to maneuver and manage this puck. It goes by, though, Vapenka, and he must breathe a sigh of relief as you can't really move yourself as quick as you might like as that shot's coming in and went to his backside and goes by the near post. Vogel, up and across to Salberg. This is the danger line. Baca, up here to Peterson. Peterson can shoot from there. He'll turn away. And Peterson has twice been right in on Vapenka. And twice he's been denied. And Peterson will wonder what he has to do. He'll go back to passing the puck rather than shooting it. After the couple chances that he has been denied on by that man there. And a little break in play as they clear up the snow. And this is Riza now telling his team, we've got ourselves in a position, and until you score that first goal, you don't know if you're going to. As watch Peterson here. This is the play. Off the body, off the post, and out. And He's getting closer every time. So Peterson will think, well, three is going to be a charm. Third time lucky. Or are the Czech Republic going to score next? Watch this shot again. And oh, man. That is as good as you're going to see. And Gears' expression says it all. And Vapenka now knows that if he can continue his good form, he's got his team an opportunity to try and win this game by just playing strong defense. Haven't seen as much of Kavak in this third period, though. Here is a play on a little bit of a partial break. Skating well. Again, the offload is perfectly played by Klakeg. And it is that veteran experience from Norway, which could be proving to be the difference as they manage the waves of attack from this Czech side. And remember, the Czechs actually are the older of the two teams. 36 years is the average age, 31 for Norway. But you just get an impression because of the ice time play, Obviously, Norstoga, Hagen, and Peterson, veterans of this Norwegian team, logging so much ice time. Oh, 
They battle to try and get it out. It's jammed in the near side board, played there. And it's not quite out yet. And in front of goal, that was Stahlberg, who is just causing a little bit of a nuisance for himself. And the Czechs do get it out. This is in a great area here to just take the right route. But look at the strength from Peterson. As again, he knows just how to get himself out of trouble. Possibly not here though, it's turned over. Havel. Havel could turn and wrap this one. Peterson is right there to meet him at the door. And Peterson so confident and assured back there. And stubborn with that puck. The Czechs have still got it as a result of that turnover. And now they can't quite keep it in. They need to hold on to it. They do well to do that. But Norway, like a pack of seagulls, just flocking around that puck. And a little offload here. Here's a breakaway chance. Is there open room? There is. And it is going to be a save. No goal. And that from nowhere. And that was Berger coming in. Now we'll have a look here again. And does that almost go across the line? And it's Joytek. And that save by Bune is something else. Because Bune is being knocked away from originally where he's got control of that puck and is spun back towards his own goal line. But the referee Morrison right on it. And Bune keeps it from going across the goal line. Again, a real war of attrition in that face-off circle area. As it's taken and it's played down the length of the ice. And it's going to be waved and it's going to be icing there. Referee in the near side looked as though he was going to wave it off, but it's an icing call. And now the Czechs, well, they've got the advantage on the overall face-off percentage. And you see again. Here is Riza, very much involved with his players, just right down there, chatting with them as they're on their sledges in the bench area, giving encouragement, instruction, trying to will his team on. Here, out of the faceoff, a shot in. Oh, and Bune makes a save. And that there, another tremendous opportunity. And the penetration from the Czech Republic off the draw. And an explosive shot in on Bune. Havel, he's been in and around it for the Czechs all day. There's Havel again. Havel, 19 minutes and 32 seconds played so far. Look at the give and go. And it's just into a near area. Peterson can start the breakout from there, though. Kavak will have to go back. He's watched closely by Stahlberg. Stahlberg gets a stick on it and doesn't allow Kavak to exit the zone with one attempt. Now, the Czechs will work it a couple different ways. Oh, and they just advanced it too early. Needed to have held on to it. Peterson sniffs it out like a bloodhound. And unfortunately, he is a little too aggressive going across the line, and his team hadn't quite cleared it. As he gives a little gesture to a member, no doubt a family member in the crowd. Or possibly, probably an indication for needing a line change as he was just indicating needing a breath. And he does, that's exactly what he is. Line changes. Level at one, over halfway gone in this third period. We will go to extra time if we need to. Again, Norway, this is a play out. It's a partial two on one. Is it too deep though? Berger stays in a good defensive position and forces that puck in behind the goal. Back in numbers. They'll support the play. 
And move it safely away from trouble. Can't get a hold of it. In the corner it will go. And taken down hard, Hamra. No penalties. Just the one penalty been called for holding. Hagen got that in the second period. The Czechs not able to do much on that power play advantage. Now they've got some room to skate. Coming across though. Taking it away, a good angle there from Klake. View in behind his own goal, but he's got his sledge out in front of the goal line area. Morrison elects to blow the whistle. And Bune just feeling a little unsettled, just wanting to take collection of that puck and to have certainty that his team was going to have five players out in good shape off the defensive zone faceoff. Bune, we saw his reaction after he conceded the goal. But there's not much he could have done about that one. Uh, here, this is a play! And front again. And it looks so innocuous at the time, like nothing is much happening. And then the Czech forward just pulls the puck out of a pile and rips it wide. Into the neutral zone, one more time. Four Norwegians up there, putting pressure. Kavok takes the long road to China to get there. And eventually that works out well for him though, as there's nowhere to go for the Norwegian attack. And again, these lively boards are proving fruitful and creating just a good angle to get the puck out of the defensive zone for the Czech Republic. A wide clearing play now. Handled comfortably by Norway. Peterson to pivot and to fire it up into an area and advances it on. And a line change as in on the four check first will be back a back a almost effectively starts the check breakout strong position and played in deep again a little bit of a game of territory now rather than possession inside of five minutes to go in this third period back in behind their own goal one more time and Norway really are spending a lot of time in here. This is a loose play. Pallet, a rebound. Ricochet still alive. And Morrison on it as Bune will stop that one. And Pallet has himself a little bit of a gift. And can't do enough with it as Bune lays down again like a board and does enough to keep that out of the Norwegian goal. And that pressure inside the defensive zone for Norway proving a little burdensome. They almost really open up this game. Morton Haglin looking on, chatting and discussing. And there is the direct instructions coming in from Breeza. This is a play, Pallet. And I don't know if he would have been able to come out to his left hand and to play that. That's probably the best option. He wanted to elevate it and couldn't get it up. And Bune closed it down with a good two-pad stack. Well, you wouldn't want to guess which way this one's going to go now. And Morton Haglund knows exactly how important these games are. We only have three games in the group stages in which to finish top two in the group. Of four, this could be a deciding result. Berger, again, the high shot coming in, and it's a blast high and over the goal. This will be Hagen. And Hagen can't quite get control first time, but he'll do a little spin and kind of hands it off like you might in track and field in a relay race. Kept in, but not quite. The official right on the blue line 
keeping a tight eye. And now you have to wonder just exactly how resilient and stingy this Norwegian defense can maintain as they are spending a good proportion of this third period in their own zone. Defiant as ever is Bune as he looks on in the Mexican wave. Now starting to sweep its way around the Scheibler Arena. And the referee, Morrison, giving instructions to Hagland. Does he want a timeout? Is he utilizing a timeout? Or is this just a delayed line changing? And some savvy by the Norwegian experienced players as coming off the ice there. You see Peterson. And that can't quite get, and that's a dangerous play as that play was broken up. It was Kubas who was trying to get to it. And Kubas was going to be the preferred defenseman to receive the D to D play. Here's Safranic. Havel. It's a good opportunity area to get in on top of it first. Yeah. The goal scorer for. The checks, and what a goal it was. High and hard in the Norwegian net inside this third period, and that's what's got us level. A goal in the second by Baca, and a goal in the third by Gier. Here's another one, and it's a shot one more time. And how many times do they go high? And it seems to be the preferred shot certainly from a distance to generate power but the power it is without control as elevating a little too high Safranic though into an area pushes back this Norwegian defense again and they really as a group particularly this line here Havel Safranic here they've been too much to handle and there Bune gets to it and he will Take it under cover for a face-off. And Bune must be feeling in himself how that goal has changed the aspiration. But in fairness to the Czechs, they have been strong all day. And they have looked promising. They have been creating opportunities. And they have looked confident as they've gone forward offensively. Basically playing two-line hockey. And the line of Berger, Safranic, and Gear. Berger a D-man though, often stepping up. It's Havel as well, the forward. And then the other line here. Uh, Wojtek, Palat. And Kubis plays the D-man, a little bit of a, a rover on that line. Turned over though. Norway, in and behind the Czech goal line now. Inside of two minutes remaining in this third period. It's not going to be the match. If we are level, we will go to extra time. And just unfortunately across the line before the puck and the offside is called. Hope you're enjoying the action. I'm Brent Pope. It's a pleasure to share it with you. This is the day one of the Ice Ledge Hockey Competition. Match number one in Group A. And there's only four teams in Group A. Sweden, Canada. And the two sides here, Norway and the Czech Republic. And in the other group, Italy, Japan, Korea, and the United States. All the action coming to you from the Shaiba Arena in Sochi's Olympic Park. Fabulous Benny, great acoustics in here, great atmosphere. And as this game develops, you can only imagine what it will be like if we get ourselves to the drama of an extra time period. And Morton Hagman, the five-time medal-winning coach for Norway. Well, he's been here before, and Norway have a flair for the dramatic. They won a bronze medal with four seconds left to go in Vancouver, but what have they got left inside of a minute and a half in this first game of Sochi? Berger, defenseman, coming in. He's got the long range. Effort, he makes a good pass in. Berger still down below the goal line. Berger elects to keep control of it. 
Hagen will play it around. It's not out. That's picked up very well indeed. Has to go back to get it though. And that's Gear, the goal scorer. It's going to bounce out to Bune one more time. He's played it on though. Keeping the play rolling. He senses the momentum. And Peterson will play it down the length of the ice. And that'll be icing one more time. And you wonder whether or not a timeout might be an effective call. And plan a strategy, but it's to the advantage now. The Czech Republic in the offensive zone with a face-off inside of the last minute of this third period. They no doubt will have a set play. And they are going to call a timeout, as you see. And the instruction coming in from Yuri Brizo. And it's a good one, as they will have a design to how they wish to approach this. They obviously keep the goaltender in. There's no advantage in pulling the goalkeeper. But five on five with a dedicated focus to the design of a set face-off could prove advantageous for the Czechs, and they could steal three points out of this match. So three points in regulation and one point each if we go to extra time. And the winner in extra time would pick up a second point. So very valuable points indeed as the determination of this result could end up determining who is second or third in this group. That being said, that's assuming that the favored Canada in this group will go on and come through as number one, as is expected. But nothing is for certain in sport, as Norway are seeing that firsthand right now. They are in tough against the new kids on the block. Important face-off to the left of Bune. It's one, it's a shot, and a block there by Baca. The goal scorer for Norway, and that was an important play. That was a perfectly won face-off, an advantage for the Czechs. Getting across the line, haven't been able to maintain possession. They do have numbers, though. They are coming out of this area here. Gear will play it in. It's a step from a shot there, and that is going close. And they just seem to have more options defensively or offensively supporting from their defense, the Czechs. And they have been doing that all day. And a lot of time between the whistle being blown and the actual time still allocated on the clock, 2.4 seconds. And from the whistle, it sounded like three and a half seconds. And the reason why that's so important is three and a half seconds would suggest a little bit more time in which to win a face off and get a shot away. There is Haglin looking on, and he'll be interested just to see how much time, if any, is there it is, 4.8 seconds will go back on. So they are generous indeed, and Riza was correct. Now, 4.8 seconds. Well, it gives you twice as long, doesn't it, to try and make something happen from a set piece. And is there drama? ahead in the near future right in behind Berger and it's one to the corner well taken by Norway and that will be the end of regulation play and we have enjoyed ourselves a thriller to kick off the Paralympic Winter Games and if this is anything to go by well we are in for a treat as the crowd builds inside the Shaiba Arena. We'll have a three minute break now before we go to the extra five minute period. And there you see both teams just getting themselves collected. That's the score line after 45 minutes of play. Czech Republic won, Norway won as well. The game summary to go back at 24 28. It was out in back eight. Even strength scores, assists to Salberg and Vogel. And this is it right here. Salberg shot in and in the right place at the right time was Odin Backe as he is 
rewarded for his pursuit going to the goal. And that had them in the driver's seat until inside the third period here. Watch that one there. Now you see it, now you don't, because it's right in the top drawer. And Mikael Guerre scores himself a beauty. And Morrison, the official, right on it. There was no dispute. And that was a 31-17 even strength. And that's why we're level. If we look at the overall ice time in this game so far, Rolf Enar Peterson, number three, 27.55. So 27 minutes and 55 seconds on the ice to the possible 45. There was a time earlier in his career where he had played all 45 minutes. Next after him, 25-15, Odin Bakke, the goal scorer. And then it is Salberg, who's had a great game, 23-39. And then Eskiel Hagen, 23-36. As you see the, well, you can't really panic in these stages. You just have to take this extra time period on as it comes. And there is the almost sort of resigned and relaxed demeanor of Morton Hagelin. And there's reason, very much involved in trying to pull a little bit more from his team. If you look at the checks, how the distribution of ice time, 26-23, Mikael Gier, the goal scorer, is leading the way. And then after that, it is Zadina Hebel, 24-55. Average length of his shift, a minute and 11 seconds each one. So as I compared it to ice hockey, it's almost double what you might see in a regular shift or well, certainly at the Olympic Games when the teams had the opportunity to use four-line hockey. There is Mikal Gear. He'll be ready to go and start this extra time period. Couple shots in this one, the one that really counted and the one that will be on highlight films for some considerable time, I would say. Morrison, there with the signature and very valuable Sachi Pucks. You can't buy him anywhere. Four on four, we will play in the extra time period. It's the golden goal scenario. A goal is scored, that will determine the victor. Here is the Czech Republic. A shot in, and it's a good one. Block, and play. Oh, the defense from Norway is scrambling. Kavok is in. They can keep it just in. Kubas, whoa, and Bune has got that one in the mitt, and he'll take it down. And the Czech Republic are picking up where they left off. No mercy. They are going right at it here. And Kubis snaps one high. And he gets a acknowledgement for his efforts there. Face off one by Norway. Again, though, they can't get out of their own zone clearly or cleanly. This is where they are one more time. Pallet. Electing, and he was going to pass it, but didn't pass too early. Norstoga is the option here on the near board. Good formation, though, from the Czech Republic as they don't allow Norway to have a clean line out. All the way across, working hard. That's Herbeck. It's all about patient control. Czechs don't mind playing with sort of a shortened roster. This is a play up to Vutek. And Vutek has just got it in. Any shot's a good shot at any time, but particularly in extra time. When this is a play that's just not quite completed itself. And it's turning away. Calm build up, advancing a forward. Oh, and it's an offside. Gear has put himself into a advanced position ahead of the puck. Peterson hunting it down, trying to create pressure. It's been smothered underneath the sledge of Kubis. And now Gier is back. He's overskated it, though. Needs to just 
slow his horses down a moment. This is a play. Could it be a breakaway? It's offside, though, as you see the official going across the line before the puck got there. Broken up well. This is Kubis now. He will skate down the left wing. He's got a room. He'll play it around the boards. And again, just electing for territory and an area for possession. Havel can't get much going there. A little spin and turn, a little Savardian spinorama. And still on it, though. Havel. He's going to turn to the forehand. He's got a shot in. And he rips one right on. And that's a powerful shot. Straight at Bude. Here's Habel again. Down it will go. Salberg electing to just put it into an area. Kubis getting bumped off the play. And the first time in this extra period that Lepenka gets an opportunity to touch the puck. And there's some good forechecking coming in there from Norstoga. Norstoga has been very stubborn and uncompromising defensively for Norway. A couple of key shifts in that second period in particular when the Czechs were just generating some of their own momentum. And a timeout being elected to be used by Norway now. And an opportunity in the offensive zone for them to try and create an alignment to their advantage uh, but equally maybe a chance just to catch their breath and to make certain that they are as rejuvenated as they can be to make the most of this upcoming opportunity the ladies enjoying it the Norwegians are a shot away, but so are those guys too, from taking two points from this opening contest. Face off. Taken, hasn't quite been decided yet. It's been advanced now by Kubis. A bounce pass, trying to link on to the end of it. And Bune, a long way from home, comes out as it's Gier. And Gier trying to get onto it. Bune wanted no such part of that action. He came out and took the puck away. Face off to his right. Minute 34 of extra time. And we'll go to game winning shots. Should we not get a goal? And at the moment, you would favor and suggest that's probably what's coming. And the shooters don't need to be predetermined. They can just be selected after this extra time period. And, but there'll be three as mandatory. And then if we're still tied after three shots aside, then it will go to golden goal until the result determined. It's going to come outside of the Czech Republic end zone into the neutral zone. Both sides doing a good job to negate each other and counter one another's moves. It's come out, and it's a long-range speculative effort in on goal. And why not just bounce one in and see if you can't create something crazy. Maybe it's worked well for them. They've got a chance with some possession here. Here's the danger man off the post, and that out of nothing. And that's why those plays are made in. Peterson rings the post again. And it looked like a nothing shot. But what it left was an opportunity for territory. Salberg off of his head and a redirection there. And that entire sequence was created from that lofted 
searching puck that was seeking goal. And while it didn't create a real threatening opportunity, what it did is it created possession in the offensive zone that led to this opportunity here. And look at that. Bing. Off the post and out. And Salberg providing a little bit of a snow shower. They'll want to just break this down and get to game-winning shots. That's where we're going to go as Berger protects the puck. And it is into high drama as Bune has been outstanding. So is Vapenka. Vapenka has his best friend to thank twice, though, the post. As how close can you get? Yeah, you see how close it was. It was an inch away. And now we will have the Zambonis come out and clear a pathway down the middle of the ice in order to allow a more consistent surface to be available for these teams. There you, know, you see the nets coming out, and the Zamboni will come on. Who knows what's going to happen here now? And the shooter's being determined as we speak. And this crowd has enjoyed a thriller. And discussion going on, Morrison with Breeza. And Morrison, the American official, done a good job today. Only had to call the one penalty. The goals have been cleared. He made a good interpretation of the out and back a call. And now Breeza is selecting who he is going to have in the penalty shots or the game-winning shots, the new terminology adopted by the IIHF. And, well, they do what it says in the tin, don't they? It used to be they were called penalty shots. It used to be that the goal in extra time, well, the period of extra time was called sudden death. But now in the uh, 21st century, and with a more positive outlook, it's about game-winning shots, which is ultimately what it is. And there are the shots in extra time, three apiece. Obviously no power plays, but you'd be surprised to know that the shots off of the post aren't actually recorded as shots. Shots are only recorded if the goaltender, in fact, has to make a save in order to prevent them going into the net. And in both those instances, the one was a save that was in the third period that went off the body first of Vapenka and then off the post. But the direct shot off the post from Peterson in the extra time period is not recorded as a shot. But it was thrilling nonetheless. And those ladies are enjoying themselves. And I've enjoyed myself. I hope you have, wherever you're watching around the world. This is the showcase for ice sledge hockey, one of the most popular spectator sports and growing and emerging in popularity, as you might gather. It's just got everything, doesn't it? It's got speed, it's got power, it's got skill, and it's just got that whole team, kind of, kind of the team ethos, isn't it, that really gets the crowd involved. And you see the two goaltenders converging and sort of discussing last minute tactics about how they might wish to approach this well here we go eh? and Morton Haglin looking on and his team will be taking on that man there Mikhail Vapenka have a little look at the shots in this one so far and the total shots in on the Czech Republic 21 well, they had 21 shots, my apologies. And Norway with 13 total. And Norway in the third period with just the one shot. Czech Republic with five and both sharing three apiece. So Norway deciding to up it a gear. But the Czech Republic ended up leading in the face-offs in this competition. 52.08 percentage. As opposed to just under 48 for Norway and it's just the two penalty minutes in it from Hagen so and the one goal apiece both even strength not much more to say but if you've watched it it's been great and here we go Norway to shoot first 
And this is Peterson. Can he go off the pipe and in this time? Peterson, oh boy, oh baby. Does he make Mapanka pay for the two saves he's made on him earlier today? And that's one love. As right under the sledge to the left and right up in the Hacienda Heights of the Czech goal. Now, Czech Republic to shoot. And it's gonna be Gear. He will go in right, left. No, and a save made by Bune. And that stick handling under the sledge doesn't quite work this time for Gear. And he had it, but it was Bune with a tremendous save to reach out and to take that away with the blocker. Outstanding. Here is the goal scorer. Backe in and around and he catches it in. And that makes this final goal or opportunity here, this next one by the Czech Republic mandatory. They must score it to stay in this game winning shots competition. Out and back A, in and around, and he takes it comfortably. And this is Wojtek with a chance, and that'll be it. And Norway are going to win this one in game winning shots, and how decisive that might be. The momentum of scoring first. And then the leveling goal from the Czech Republic at one. But Norway with the experience and the flair for the dramatic find a way again in the face of adversity to get the maximum result. And Bune again, he made two tremendous saves and those small things could end up being the difference as this group stage plays out. And that has been a absolute delight to share with you. And after 45 minutes of regulation play and five minutes of extra time, the game winning shots are decided. And the goal from Rolf Inar Peterson is going to be determined as the game winning goal and he was given further support by the shot coming in from 22 out in back a and he scored the goal in regulation time that took us to extra time and ultimately the game winning shots if you have been watching the paralympic games the ice sledge hockey competition after all the drama and after the extra time and shots, it is Norway who will take maximum points. They will get two in the standings as a result of their 2-1 victory. There is the game statistics. Shots in the Czech Republic out shooting Norway. And the face-off, just a marginal advantage as well. But the most important advantage, as I just mentioned, is the point on the board there. We're going to leave you there from the Shaiba Arena. Continue to watch and enjoy the rest of this tournament unfold from the Paralympic Winter Games in Sochi. For now, I'm Brent Pope. We will see you again soon. <laughs>